Can I be a lover? Yeah, John Rawls, my thing in here. G'day, beer lovers. My surname, Gebbit. Okay, now, many different ways of pronouncing it. If you're in Germany, my surname would be pronounced Gebet. If you were in France, my surname would be pronounced Gebert. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Love the French way of pronouncing it. A lot of my relatives in Victoria pronounce the surname as Gaybert. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna call myself Ed Gaybert. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, my side of the family prefers to pronounce it as simply Gabbert. Okay. Now behind me is a road called Gabbert Road, or Gaybert Road, or Jabert Road, or. Gebet Road, whichever your way you want to pronounce it, okay? Now, my family can be traced back to a person called Johann Adolf Bernhard Gebet, who was born in Prussia, which is part of Germany, in 1811. Now, in 1844, this guy called Johann Adolf Bernhard Gebet left Germany and migrated to New Zealand but it didn't work out for them yeah and in 1850 they were rescued because uh, they were in terrible living conditions in New Zealand and they were moved to South Australia where all the other German settlers started to arrive this road behind me was named after my father my father spent his entire life living in Meriden now, in Meriden, he, spent, he operated a farm machinery business, manufactured farm machinery, specifically grain cleaning equipment, which he exported all over Australia. Now, this road goes through a farm, which we used to own. Yeah, my father used to own the, this farm. And it's approximately nine kilometres east of the Meriden town site. My grandfather, Edward Alfred Gebbett, my father's father, he came to this area in 1915 and he settled in a town to the east of Meriden called Burracoppen, where he had some land and he also was employed in the building industry in and around Meriden, so he was a bit of a builder. Now, Edward Alfred Gabbett moved his family to Meriden in 1938, so he had seven children. It was only my father that spent his entire life here. My father was born in Meriden in 1928 in Meriden Hospital. So I am Edward III. <laughs> I'm Edward. I don't like to be called Edward. Call me Ed. My dad was called Edward, but he, he preferred to be called Ted. And my grandfather was called Edward as well, but, and he was also called Ted. So this is Gebbett Road, where we used to have a farm many years ago. We had 2,000 acres here. But my father sold the land off, I think, in the 1990s. And my father passed away in 2002. In the early 1970s, my father built this factory, which is behind me. It's called Inland Sales and Service. And from this factory, my father manufactured grain cleaning equipment. Farmers used to buy his machine to, to clean the grain after it's harvested. And he used to export these machines all over Australia. He even exported some overseas as well. So my father was in business for over 30 years, making these grain cleaning equipments from this factory behind me. Uh, we sold the business in around about the year 2001 but what is interesting is the name of his business is still on this building here doesn't look like there's much other activity going on here
so we're going to drive along Gabbett Road. It's not a long road, it's just a, it's a dirt road. Well, all those structures over there are new. They weren't here when we had the farm. So the people that purchased the farm office have done quite a lot actually. They put a lot of infrastructure in. Yeah, so all that land over there, that was ours. Yeah, none of that was there. And this is where we used to have a house. The original house has been demolished. So this is the new house that's been put on. Not bad. We're now at the end of Gabbett Road. So it's only a very short road. Now this is where it ends. And this road here where it ends is called Great Eastern Highway, which links Perth to Kalgoorlie. So this is Meriden Cemetery. I thought while I'm in Meriden, I better visit my father's grave.